This discussion is the aircraft documents. These documents must be on board the aircraft before you go fly. If you were to be ramp checked by the FAA, they're going to ask to see these documents. Now your memory aid for these are ARRO, A-R-R-O-W. The, Air, the A stands for Airworthiness Certificate. The Airworthiness Certificate was issued when that plane was certified under the FAA. The tail number must match the uh, Airworthiness Certificate and also the Airworthiness Certificate has no expiration date. It is as good as long as the aircraft is airworthy. What would make an aircraft not airworthy? Maybe not complying with one of the maintenance items or if there was some type of damage or uh, one of the uh, required items that your airplane needs to operate was broken, it would make it the airworthiness certificate void, but it never expires. Um, the registration is to be renewed every three years, as we discussed earlier. The radio license actually is only required if you're leaving the United States. So if you're just flying around local, the radio license would not be required. But if you want to fly to the Bahamas or to Canada or something like that, you are required to uh, have a radio license. The O stands for Owner's Manual or a POH, Pilot Operating Handbook, or Information Manual. This would be an example of an uh, Owner's Manual that you'd find maybe in the glove box or behind the seat or something like that. But it's just a manual that tells you about the airplane that should be accessible to the pilot. The last is the weight and balance. The weight and balance is the most current weight and balance. So the pilot can uh, calculate out, which I'm going to teach you shortly, it's going to calculate out if the airplane is too nose heavy or too tail heavy or just heavy in general. So the, weight of, the most current weight and balance must be readily available for the pilot on the airplane.